Hello everyone, Dead Poodles here, and today we're checking up on Xur and seeing what he has to offer us this weekend of April 13th. New Xur videos drop every Friday, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Xur is on Nessus this weekend, so let's head on down to his hideout and see what he has. Alright, here we are on Nessus. If you're not sure where he's at, you can take a look at the map real quick. He is located to the top right, up in the Watcher's Grave, where you have the landing zone right there. He is up a giant tree, as you can see right there. So let's go see what he has. Ah, I cannot wait for the new DLC to come out. I need some new weapons. Alright, looks like we got the Risk Runner. Taking arc damage increases weapon power. When the arc conductor is active, shots fired have a chance to become chain lightning and return ammo. The Doomfang Pauldron. Shield Bash melee kills recharge shield throw, and melee ability kills recharge sentinel shield super. The Wings of Sacred Dawn. When Dawn Blade is equipped, aiming weapons while in midair suspends you there for a short time. Precision hits extend the effect's duration. And the Gemini Gestures. Dodging disorients nearby enemies and temporarily removes their radars. I see that a lot in Trials. Pick up a Faded, just because I can. Got a colony out of it, nice. Oh, alright, I'm gonna get out of here and go... Ooh, what's that? Oh, get this guy. What? Oh, That is garbage. That's gonna do it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop a like. Always much appreciated. I have a new Destiny 2 build dropping tomorrow, so be sure to subscribe to stay up to date and slam that notification bell so you know the minute new videos drop. Follow me on Twitter at DPS United for more news and game related content. As always, this is Dead Poodles and I will talk to you all next time.